Here we go. Now, well, Buddha said this. The Buddha said this. It's in my book, but I know the Buddha said this. He said, you become what you think about. Think about that. If you think about that, then you become what you think about still. It's like a puzzle. You think, listen, you become what you think about. Now think about that. You become what you think about. You know that all day you're carrying thoughts in your mind, right? And um, that's what you're responding to. And you think you're responding to your environment, but you're not. <clears throat> you're responding to your thoughts about the environment. Okay? And the process that we're on, the process that we teach, <clears throat> is a process of detaching from that. Okay? Your thoughts. All right? This is just all I got to tell you. The moment you free yourself from your mental, the mental machine, you are in a different world. That is the matrix. Okay? Next, uh, don't ever say anything about yourself which you wouldn't want to be true. Think about that for just a second, okay? Like people say all kinds of weird shit. They talk badly about themselves. They say things about themselves they don't want to be true. Like, oh, I'm just lazy. Do you want to be lazy? Do you want to be lazy? Okay, if you don't want to be lazy, don't say you're lazy, all right? That's the first step. This whole thing is a mental this whole world you guys don't understand you're living in your head okay this is a trip when you get it this is enlightenment i don't think there's any other enlightenment okay yeah. when you get it that you're not your body you're not your mind you're not your emotions you're not these thoughts you're not your thoughts you know there's like two thoughts in your head and you choose between them neither of them when you know that neither of them are you then you get it it's a whole different world man right let me get started on that all right Next, um, uh, we don't need to go about that. You create your sort of imagination, you know, say blah blah blah. Ask right now, where are you? What are you doing? What are you doing Ask yourself right now. We don't need to do that, okay? Let's get into it with my thoughts, okay? I got some thoughts for you today. You know, um, I think it's so important that we 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 regain our our um, our joy for living, okay? And there's a reason I, I say that is because we're all dying, okay. Uh, and, and none of us know how we're dying and none of us know where we're going or what's going on. So we have to, it's like any puzzle, right? You got to work with what you have. So what do we have? You and I have this present moment right now. Whenever you are, you're watching this, right? And I'm doing this right now. This is my present time right now. Now in the future, you're watching that. It's interesting because when I say you have this present moment, it's still true every time you watch it. There's a little mind. Let me tell you why that is. You see... If you're watching this video anytime after today's date and I go, okay, right now in present time, right where you are, exactly there in present time. See, do you know why that will work every single time? Check this out. It's because the only thing that there is, is present time. And that, that just, look at, look at, we just, look at, we just discovered together. Look, the fact that any time in the future, an audio or a video can say, in present time, and the person could go right now, man, that means everything is always present time. Okay, maybe you didn't get that, but I got that, okay? So, the, the mind of this whole game is that all of us, right, are on a one-way ticket train, a runaway train, never coming back kind of a thing. Like, it's going, right? And it's ending. And the only thing we can really, really know is that we're here right now. Like I'm here right now and you're wherever you are watching this right now. Listen, don't let anything get you down today, my friend. Do your best. Okay, just think about that for just a second. Like you gotta, you gotta fight for your right to party. You get it? You gotta like, you, you can't, look, it's like, the, it's the only thing we have I feel like a bunch of prisoners and I'm turning to everybody as a prisoner saying, look, the only thing we have is this. Don't let them take this one thing away. Okay. And just like every puzzle, let's use this one thing and something else will become obvious. Let's milk this. Pay attention that your mind has become an identity by itself. You have, you think you're, you think you're, a, you're a thing. Right? You think you think you're a phone, like a thing, okay? And that's the problem. Is a phone, a thing can be um, trapped, hurt, but you're not a thing, okay? You're a process that, when put together, whatever, however that is, we don't know. We are aware. 
you and I are aware. We know what's going on, right? You're paying attention. Now, the only thing I can tell you for a fact, if you say, Arash, what's the one truth you know? I would say, I know that I'm aware of what's going on. I don't have any other truth, and I don't think you do either. One thing for sure is I am experiencing this right now. And you know what's a trip? Is I was experiencing it just like this yesterday, all day, and that whole thing is gone now. Doesn't that trip you out? Isn't it trip you out that yesterday is gone? You ever want to think about that for just a minute and see how you can get it real quick? Look, you remember? Just think about yesterday. Make it vivid, like a moment of it. It's gone. It's like it's gone. But you, you were there. And I, you remember? We were there. Who was there? Can I still be there in my memory? Let me see. Yeah. Am I there now? Am I here? Ah! Exactly. You are just aware, is all you are. Of what? Well, if you become aware of yesterday, you're in yesterday. And we got to be like, hello? Like, oh, what? I was thinking about yesterday. I was becoming aware of yesterday. Wherever our awareness goes is where we go. We are awareness. It can't be where our body goes because when you're laying down and having a dream at night, right? As an awareness, you're aware of all these different dreams and stuff. Your body's just laying there. But what are you experiencing? Are you experiencing your body laying there? Or are you experiencing your mind wrapped around your face? That's what I'm saying. You see that? When we sleep, our body goes in paralysis. That's when we can dream. Okay? It's like anesthesia. That's why you don't worry about the body. It's, anest it's anesthetized. <laughs> so then we don't feel it. Why? Because it's in some sort of paralysis. That's why you get that sleep paralysis thing going on. Now, the mind, and that's literally when you dream. The dreaming consciousness is when the body hits paralysis, boom, and then you, you do uh, rapid eye movement. Okay, that's when you dream. So now, someone dreaming is like, no, 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 right? But inside they're like, ah, ah, arms flailing. It's just that they're in paralysis, trying to come out of it. It's fascinating. Just that in itself is so fascinating that it should make you and I look at our existence differently. Like, wait, what? And so when we're awake, it's another waking, thinking state. Just like dreaming is like a dreaming, thinking state. But even when you're up, your mind is still doing what the mind does. Then you start to go to sleep. What happens? You close your eyes, and now you don't see the, the, these, this, these lights anymore, right? And you close your eyes, but you, now you start to see your images. That's why people can't sleep. Because they close their eyes and they're down. Now they see their mind more. Think about this for a second. So their mind goes. Now at some point, right, this mind that they're thinking about starts to kind of lighten up and then the images become what? A dream. Right? And now the dream is a mixture of a bunch of images. But the system is trying to release its stress now. That's why you need to sleep. Those dreams you're having are all the unprocessed emotions and thoughts through the day. Straight up. Okay, it's fascinating. Now this gets even cooler. You have your dream. Now you wake up. You're living your day. The thoughts that you're having are literally just like the dream. They're just stress releases. That's why you think about it. Anything you think about that you have a resistance about. See if it's true. Anything you think about, you have a resistance there's many things you don't think about. But when a thought comes up about a subject, it's charged. There's a resistance there. Otherwise, you'd be thinking about... So when you're sleeping, it's the same. So the mind's job, the mind's job is to kick up the images that are charged. Why? Wow, get this, to release its own stress. What you and I are not supposed to do is grab those images and start living them out as it does that. And that's called dramatizing. So the mind is kicking up these images to release its own stress, right? Well, you and I as consciousness put our attention on it and grab it. And now we energize this thing. Boom. Now we live out 
a thought in present time. But all, all, was, all that was about to happen was the thought was going to go up and process itself out. Why? Because something had happened in the physical environment, created a thought of resistance. Now in the future, the thought keeps coming up. Okay, but now you don't resist it. Boom, you observe, observe. So it should process out. It becomes less and less and less. Okay, that's been my observation. So that's fascinating. Okay, and then when you feel an emotion, right? Where do you feel that? Like suddenly. You ever notice you can never predict an emotion? It's just like, ah, right? And, and have you ever like really like looked at it a little bit more consciously? It's, it's literally like a zap. It feels like someone zaps you with an energy. I swear. Okay, I can feel it really smoothly. Okay. Something volts inside your body. It could be anger. It could be sadness. Like sucks your side out of you or something, right? There's a definite energy discharge in the body in these emotions. Even laughter. If you uncontrollably laugh, it's like, ha! It's like, Right? Energy is like a sh energy, sh um, emotion is like an energy shot in the system. So a master, a martial artist, a yogi, a monk practices taking these jolts and relaxing during the jolt. So the jolt doesn't express itself in words or fists. It just jolts and he holds it inside. And for a while, the jolting creates energy for him. Because he begins to use the energy of the thing as it releases it. At first, he has to contain it, right? And it contains it for a while, it gets better and better and better. As he contains it, then he starts to be able to look at it differently. Then he starts to see that it's just energy. And then he begins to use the same energy. The thing that was bothering him now jolts power inside of him. And that's, some, and that's what I teach. Powerful. Now, my friends, we're living in a simulation. Okay? It's a green world made of words, words and ideas and concepts. And our bodies are barely doing anything if you look at it compared to what our minds are doing. Our minds are running so fast. All the, it's a mind machine, literally. The body is just eating, doing nothing else. We are not running up and down trees. We're not traveling distances, throwing javelins. We're not doing like that. We're just barely moving our bodies. Think about it. Think about the most active human being. What are you doing? Okay. Barely anything compared to like what what these bodies can do, right? Anyways, it's like a mental universe, right? And the way that you the way that you interact with your own machinery, which is your mind, is first and foremost. First, you have to unplug yourself from your own machinery. You cannot go around trying to unplug people. You got you got to first unplug. Now, if you think you're unplugged, but you can go through your whole day. And at any point, any point you think you're your thoughts, you're not unplugged. This is period. I don't think I'm on my thoughts anymore. I'm just not. It's a totally different existence. It's very freeing. There's not like, there's not emotions. It's like, ah, it's with emotions. But I know I'm not my thoughts. I know I'm not my emotions. The thoughts one is a big one because, because it's, kidnaps you by saying things like, I think this, I think that, I want this, I want that. Well, I don't like that. And I, this little guy that speaks in here for you, that calls himself I, all right? You would never speak like that to yourself. You would never be like, I, I, I. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are you decreeing inside your head what you need to do all the time? Like, well, I don't like, uh, you know, red meat. And I... And I, and I, the king in here. Why am I listening to someone say I? Like, I just don't like that. What? Who's you? Who's you? Hello? Did somebody speak in here and say I? Because I don't need to say to me, I don't like food. I like water. I don't like what the... Break this down. This gets crazy. This is what snapped me out of it.